I'm Linda Ford, and I'll be doing Lorraine from Sam Shepard's A Lie of the Mind, and Elsa Bertman from Spoon River Anthology. Here now, come on, just try a sip. That's all I'm asking, just a tiny little old sip. Jake, sit up here and drink this soup. I'm sick of babying you. This is your favorite cream of broccoli. I made it special in the blender. I don't know why in the world you insist on getting so worked up over a woman. There's more pretty girls than one in this world. You'll find someone else sooner or later. You're a strong, strapping man yet. You got a little age on you, but that don't matter when you got a stout frame. Your daddy was still looking good at the age of 60, even though the bottle had walked across his face a few times over, but he still had that big stout frame on him just like you got. <laughs> still managed to twirl my ticket, I'll tell you that much. Somebody's bound to come along, just dying to be encircled by them big bony arms. Don't you worry about that one bit. Come on now, just try some of this soup. You want me to play helicopter with it like we used to? Man overboard! I was a peasant girl from Germany, blue-eyed, woozy, happy and strong. And the first place I worked was at Thomas Green's. One summer's day when she was away, he stole into the kitchen and took me right in his arms and kissed me on the throat, I turning my head. Then neither of us seemed to know what happened. And I cried for what would become of me. And I cried and cried as my secret began to show. One day, Mrs. Green said she understood that she would make no trouble for me and being childless would adopt it. He had given her a farm to be still. And all went well and the child was born they were so kind to me. Later, I married Gus Wertman, and years passed. But at political rallies, when sitters by thought I was crying at the eloquence of Hamilton Green, that was not it. No, I want to say, that is my son. That is my son. <laughs> 